When you break up with a narcissist, it can be hard to keep track of all your feelings. When they leave, they do so because they think they deserve more, and they don't care about your efforts or love. Instead, they often go after their own goals with someone else. But even the worst things that happen to us can teach us important things. Giving something away usually comes back to us in some way, and every event helps us grow as people. Narcissists have to deal with the consequences of their actions because karma makes sure that their bad behavior will catch up with them in the end. People who are narcissists often don't care about how others feel or how their actions might hurt them, which keeps people feeling hurt and being controlled. It looks like the breakups haven't changed them because they continue to do the same things even though they know they could be better. People can heal from the effects of narcissistic relationships and become stronger as a result by recognizing these traits and learning from the experience. Spreading hate and leaving others behind will lead to sadness and pain in the end for those responsible. In the end, they have to deal with the effects of what they did, and even though they may not seem to care, they are actually dealing with memories and guilt. Even though they want to move on, they are in pain because they know they left something better behind. Over time, people realize that the person they left behind was better than the person they came back as, not just in terms of looks but also in terms of love, kindness, and understanding. Realizing this makes them feel even worse about their sadness because they know they've lost something truly special. During this difficult time, the narcissist might lose touch with reality. They will then feel terrible about what they let slip between their fingers. They might try to find comfort in other people who will understand why they did what they did, but deep down, they are unhappy and feel bad about what they did. Surprisingly, they could even be angry at people who helped them, even though they had done wrong. The vast majority of people see the world differently than narcissists do. A lot of people find comfort in ideas like God or a higher power in the universe, but narcissists usually don't believe in these things. There is a lot of doubt in their minds when they think about spirituality, and they don't believe in a higher power. They keep acting self-centered because they feel alone, which keeps them stuck in a loop. There is a force that many people believe watches over our lives. This force is what we mean when we talk about God or the world. This idea could mean different things to different people, but it often gives people who aren't sure what to do direction or comfort. When a narcissist leaves your life, they might seem confident at first, but they'll quickly start to show signs of weakness. There are still thoughts of you floating around, and images of your life can be found everywhere. This is the point where karma starts to slowly but surely turn things and situations against them. Karma's effects, on the other hand, aren't always clear and might not be seen right away. From my own life events, I know that there are deep truths below the surface. Even though some people may have a big impact on our lives, we must not let ourselves get caught up in their pain because it could stop us from healing. The world, on the other hand, shows us different kinds of pain to help us grow and get better. Putting your mental health first is very important when you are going through hard times. It's important to focus on your own growth and resilience, even though it's easy to get caught up in other people's troubles or mistakes. The important thing about this trip is that it teaches us to see tough situations as chances to grow. When things get tough, remember that you can use your inner strength to rise above the bad things going on around you and get away from people who bring you down. It might be educational to have to deal with someone who is focused on themselves. Even in that tough relationship, you brought certain unique traits to the relationship that will be hard for them to replace. Could you see it now? They cared about you. And because they know what they've lost, they may think about you every day. Because you're not there, they are hurting, which shows how much they valued you. People usually can't say sorry when they've done something wrong, so you'd expect them to. Some people find it hard to say sorry, especially after they've hurt someone. Some people are afraid that admitting shame will make things worse, which will make it harder to make peace. Even though some people may say sorry, it is important to think about what will happen. It's possible that getting back together will hurt people more than they already do, 
which will make their pain worse. Today is the start of the mending process. You are setting limits and getting ready for good changes. Everyone and everything in your life will change and grow because of this trip, so enjoy it today. Please know that I pray that you receive many blessings on your trip, whether they come from the universe, a higher power, or yourself. Even though I can't change the way the universe works, I can offer my support and best wishes. We can connect with each other through shared experiences and understanding, and it's important to look for signs of healing in everyone even those who have heard us. The things you bring to these talks are very helpful. It makes it easier for us to try new things and stick to our standards. Please know that we appreciate you being here and for the things you have said.